And welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie's Conquest, or whatever we're calling this one. D Double Trouble? In which Dixie and Gormless Kong attempt to uh, rob me of what remaining sanity I had left. Okay. All right, chat. Uh, which levels should I go for? You know what? I'll make my own choice. I'm going to go to Cotton Top Cove. So if you missed me playing this last time, I kind of lost my shit because there was some spider that was just a horrendous spider. Don't worry about it. good noise that those ones make you now. But I actually, um, I enjoyed the game. I didn't, um, I didn't hate it or anything like that. Sure, there's definitely a down, a slight downgrade in my opinion from DKC2 and uh, even one a little bit. And in some ways it also you know, it pushes the genre, well, I say genre, it pushes the series a little bit in some good ways as well. I, I won't deny that. I've definitely appreciated some of the things that I saw in the game last time I played it. So, yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not upset that I started this game. I'm, I'm actually happy to finally finish the series. But from what chat member said last time, there are apparently some good levels on the horizon, some really good ones, and some not-so-good ones. Oh. Alright. I need Gorm Kong. Okay. Yeah. There's another really good British word that I don't remember. It, it's like along the lines of Gormless, and I don't remember what it was exactly. It was a really good one. Rusticate? No. Feckless, that's another good one, yeah. You, you lads over in England, over in the, the land of the Queen, well, the King now have some really good insults, you know that? Oh yeah, a gobshite. Gobshite's the one I was thinking of. No bed. Dozy bollocks. Oi. This Kong is a mingin gormless gobshite. You could just say stuff like that and people know what you mean. That's what's amazing about the UK. That and the food. Man, I saw a picture of uh, what appeared to be like, like just nuclear green vomit. And I guess it's called Mushy Peas. It's like one of Carl Pilkington's favorites. And uh, God, that looked so appetizing. Here's a little confession, chat. I don't like peas. Really try to avoid them. If a meal has peas baked into it, so to speak, I will probably just try not to have peas. Yeah, I'm not into peas. I, I will, you know, if they're just there and there's they're too numerous, that's fine.
If they're too numerous to avoid, I'd rather not go through the effort of trying to remove them from my meal. Fuck you! Give peas a chance. Says a chat member. That's- you know what? That was good. That was very good timing. I appreciate you, chat member. Good job. But, yeah, peas are not really my go-to, but I saw some meal that was like... It went slightly viral. It, it was like fish and chips. And then, like, nuclear green mushy peas. And then the, the caption was, UK has the best food. Case in point. You know, checkmate atheists or something stupid like that. I was like, what is this shit? It looks gross! I hear you got good kebabs over there, though. Good curry and kebabs. I would enjoy trying some of that stuff. There's some good British food, unironically, though. Oh, absolutely. I, I don't doubt it for, uh, for a second. I just know that people like to rag on British food because... It's just like... Mashed potatoes with sausage in it. And they're like, Pussy hole! This is the best! <laughs> no, they don't say that. They, they don't say that. Also, Bangers and Mash is fucking phenomenal. So I'm not even shit-talking that, because, uh, that's the good shit. In Boston, I had a Bangers and Mash burger. So it was like mashed potatoes and uh, sausage. They call them banger Bangers. And, uh, it was just on a burger. And I remember there was a couple other things on there, too, but it was... It was unreal. Now, granted, that's not UK. It's still in America, but... Just the very concept... ...is very appealing to me. I'm also into shepherd's pie. Just don't put grenadine on it, whatever you do. Shepherd's pie is all about the gravy. Yeah. Someone said, doesn't Shepherd's pie have peas in it? Yeah, but by then it's like just kind of an amalgam. It's part of the, you know, it's, it's part of the overall dish. And I find it to be a lot... Like, it. it's, yeah, it's just not frustrating at that point. Like, you don't really get primary pea taste. I don't know what I'm saying. My, I'm... Bad... bad words. But, um, the meal kit that I've been using, Goodbye Rotten... They, um, have a, a shepherd's pie men menu item that I made twice in a cast iron pan. And... It takes about an hour, ten minutes to make, so it's, it's not like... You know, it's not like, too... Cheap. And it's probably not all the ingredients you need for a proper one. Or, nor the time required. But, I have to say, it was fucking amazing. Like, that was one of the 
top five meals I ever had from Goodbye Rotten. Why do you call them that? Um, because I don't want people to think I'm advertising them. I don't have a deal with them or anything, I'm just... Someone described uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, the aesthetic, as a great place to go camping. And you know what? Yeah, there is... There is an aspect of it that looks like that. It looks like Donkey Kong... well, Country. about it. <clears throat> Hang on a second. I want to make the game a little louder. Should be good. Brinkley Save Cave. Frankly, it's me, Fledge. Need any help with your video game? Uh, just doing some stretches while we do this since I got up. What? Can't do some stretches? It's me, Fledge. What game you playing, Wrinkly? Skyward Sword? Figures I would make the game louder just before this music. So this season of Barry has been kind of amazing. Episode 4 was was extremely good. And, uh... Kind of sucks that the show is coming to an end, but I, I can't see how they would want to extend it. I'm just really happy that they're not trying to do what they did with, like, the, the American Office. Or other such shows. I mean, it's a very different thing anyway. It's just, you know... A couple episodes per season. Like very narrative driven doesn't need to be drawn out forever but don't you love when a show is past its prime but they just keep making episodes for it not just past its prime but past its like grave even like, it's one thing if the episodes aren't, you know, like, on the same level. That's it's a hard thing. That's a hard thing to keep up. I get that. Oh, fuck. But when you have a show that's literally, like, a zombie version of itself... Yeah, that's, uh... That's not... That's not so great. But yeah, Barry is ending. It... Just a... It's amazing how, um... And Bill Hader is directing all these episodes. But the dude is just, like... A huge surprise. Like, from, like, Funny Man, to, like, cameo appearance in Movie Man, to <laughs> one of the best TV shows on, on at the moment, in my opinion, and just a phenomenal director as well, and writer. 
An actor? gonna try that bonus barrel one more time but clearly it hates me and I don't want to continue doing it after that is there no way like how the fuck do you I pressed the wrong button to glide with Dixie Normus's helicopter? I guess we're trying one more time then. I pressed the jump button instead of the run button to, to glide and it was a terrible idea. Generally agreed upon by all to be a, a terrible, terrible idea. Fuck this game. Nah, it's fine. The game's fine. I just, I was just angry. I had an emotional moment. It lasted one second. It's over now. It's fine. Someone said Henry Winkler is a treasure. He, he's always good. He was great in Arrested Development. Um, he can do dramatic roles just as well as he can do comedic roles. He's fantastic in Barry. His, his character... There is a moment that was extremely fucked up and dark, and then he let out a FUCK YOU! In a really funny way. In a really funny way. And I was like, how did this dude just make me laugh after this horrendous moment? Oh. Bullshit. Just doing some bullshit? This is just some bullshit, I see. Cool. Please. Favorite member of the Kong family. Fuck Gormless Kong. Um, he has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. Is that all we know about Lanky? Like, do we not know who his family is? Like, clearly he's part of the Kong family, but I, I feel like this whole family is pretty incestuous. Like, how, how are all these people related? I don't know, it's kind of weird. But, like, what else is there? Like, what other what, what other character do we have? I don't- I'm, I'm not getting enough character development from Lanky Kong, and I need more. happy to be when he was a sex ed clown yeah that makes sense kong is more of a clan like a klingon house okay i understand um I mean, Diddy Kong is, is probably my favorite, then, just because I love Diddy Kong racing. Diddy is, is cool, he's cute, he's got a, a barrel jetpack in DK64. He's really good in DK64. He's really fun to play as in DKC 1 and 2. I think Diddy is, is great and underrated. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. And when I played Brawl, he was my main because he was a cheap motherfucker. What about Melpert Kong?
he's in jail. This Kong has assault charges. <laughs> he's not funny. None of this is funny. This Kong is in prison for larceny. <laughs> this Kong needs money for bail. Okay, there's definitely a way to do that in the DK rap style. Melpert Kong. Um... He, 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 sh um, he did something, something, he went to jail. This Kong needs money for bail. DK. Donkey Kong. So someone in chat just said that this is one of the worst levels in the game. So I'm looking forward to it. And these dudes are jacked. Bundip, play Bunta Eve. Please, I need you to play DKC3 because he's good levels. Uh, what's the, uh, the racer from Star Wars Episode 1? That's my favorite Kong. Ben Quadrinos? Is that, is that his name, or did I just make that up? No, there's Bups Cabulba. Quadrineros. Oh, Quadrineros. Ben, his name is Ben. Okay. Just got, like, a normal-ass name. Just a normal ass name followed by Quadraneros. At least Skabulba's first name is is Bub. It's like appropriately alien, you know. Platforming that I had previously already done. My favorite. I really need that one up balloon. There's a several up balloon. There were um, DKC three defenders that got upset that I called this Wars Rambi. And yes, there, I will admit, this elephant is cute and has some added functionality that I was unaware of. Like, it can spit. But, come on, compared to Rambi... Waterfalls, that's fun. Mm. No. Suck the water. Trying. What's the suck button? L or R? Oh, you have to be in the waterfall to, uh, to give it the old suck job. You actually have to be behind it. 
Oh wait, no you don't. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I might have pressed the wrong button, I'm not sure. I'll find out in a second. level wasn't that bad. Yeah, I didn't find that level to be too bad. Maybe it's because you warned me? You, you know, like, a chat member was like, no, Vinny, this level is, is bad. So I just kind of, uh, paid extra attention. Um, I'd like to inform you all that we now have a clownfish emote from this game in chat. Which is... Probably, aside from the scoop, one of the more specialized emotes. I mean, it's got a scummy face, so I guess you could just use it for fun. But, uh... It is, it is extremely specialized, just because... I think there's, like, one frame where they look at the camera specifically. That's a good picture right there. Is that the one, but red? No, ours is a little different. This one looks a little smug. Looks like it's smiling. I think I might want that one, too. Yeah, that's kind of the one we have, but that, that smug one was even better, maybe. What got me? Oh, this fish. That was a friend for a bit. Cool shit boxes. Friend or foe? Friend or foe? There goes my gun. There goes my gun. That girl's my gun. Wait, is, is this fish friend? Because it eats the bad ones. Oh wait, and then when it turns red, it becomes shitty. I'm just learning- that's a really weird gimmick. Exceptionally strange gimmick. Feed him the other fish, but then he gets angry and turns red and then hurts me. He seems to get mad if you feed him anything other than fish.
Don't eat it. Fuck face. Yes, the clownfish can be eaten fairly comfortably. It's these lads, we can keep them away from, okay. Does it also get hungry? Oh no, now we're just stacking bullshit. So, okay, you need to keep it fed. Whoa. But you also can't make it eat that stuff because then it gives it a stomach ache. So many rules. Very needy fish. Please. Don't eat this! Don't eat! Dante, da, Dante is good and best in game. He wins where's motorcycle and check it. <laughs> Favorite Kong is Dante Kong. Very good! Really need to hit hit a checkpoint right about now. No, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Fuck face. <sighs> As you can see, I've named this fish. You're supposed to be able to tell, I think, by the sound effect. The game wants you to hear the sound effect. Like, burp is good. Well, and also the color, you know, of the... the creature, of course. Uh, but yeah, when you hear him, like, retch, that's when you know you ate the wrong thing. There's nothing down there. There's nothing down there! Eat this. Please. Oh, thank God. I swear he had a bird named Shithead or Asshole or something like that. I had a bird called Fuckhead. Wasn't my name. I did not name the bird that. And it was only a, a suggestion. It wasn't the bird's actual name.
what was the bird's name it didn't actually have a name. So I guess you could say Fuckface became the de facto, or Fuckhead became the de facto name of that bird. Just by virtue of the fact it didn't actually have a name, so... All very normal stuff. Very normal. Ver Listen. Very normal childhood. Nothing traumatizing. Nothing weird. Like a bird named Fuckhead. Just chill, normal things that didn't end up screwing me up in the head later on in life. That I use the chat room as an outlet for these dysfunctions. And, uh, you know, a way to share some of that with the world and maybe dispel it. Nothing like that. Just because a bird is named Fuckhead doesn't mean I have some, like, deep, uh, you know, un undiagnosed stuff buried beneath the surface in there. Nothing like that. Okay? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna forget everything I just said, and we're gonna go back a minute and a half to when I was calling that fish Fuckface, and we were all happy. Okay? And then, you're gonna press Windows G, Enable. Squirt's Showdown. Is it Wrinkly Kong? Oh no. drops. Your eyes are a little dry. There was a doubler. The old Detroit doubler, you know? Up there with the Chesapeake Chiseler and the Mississippi Manhandler. At least it's it's just at the very least in the conversation with those those other ones. Even if it's not quite the best, 
it, it always, it always has deserved to be in the conversation. cycle citizen Get by Zine from me, Ben Stein. again hold Y to move faster in boats cool well did you know that you could hold the flap of skin at the end of your elbow when your arm is extended and that feels like wrinkly Kong yeah the weenus you should, yeah, that's what wrink, that's what Wrinkly Kong feels like if you, if you just want, like, uh, a, an example. Someone in chat said, what the fuck is the matter with you? Well, I've said this before, but I've got seven problems and you're five of them. Sled piping? Or pipe sledding? How do you how do you even say this? Because it wouldn't make sense. For there to be a minecart section of the game. Even if it's not quite a minecart, it'll mm, That's annoying. This reminds me of that scene in, in the famous James Bond movie, The World Is Not Enough. Where Piers Brosnan is, um... in a pipe. Before he lays pipe. What about that sentence was untrue? Find the fault in that logic. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Missed that barrel. Oh. 
Oh, a little bit of a delayed reaction time there. You know, Chet, I almost didn't completely hate that level. I at least thought it was a clever take on the Minecraft... Sorry, Minecart sequences. That was actually me misspeaking. The word mine, at this point, must always be followed by craft. Who's actually sawing this tree? Like, who is big enough to do this? I'm gonna find out it's like some Kremlin named Klung that's doing this. It's probably right by it. Checkpoint two. I wonder if the word clunt would get claimed for a uh, flag for language. Because that could be someone's last name. Like uh, Eugene Clunt or something. I f yeah, I feel like that, that, yeah, that would probably be a Eugene. Delightfully devilish of you, Seymour. I feel like the trick here is not to rush too much, unless you need to rush a little bit, but if you're holding the run button, you're actually going to end up doing kind of worse. At least that's what it's been for me so far. Yeah, there's a couple circumstances where you should definitely run, but when I was holding it down before, it was actually screwing me up. Also a good time to run that two, that two, that two, and that as well. Oh, 
Okay. But why'd they need to cut the tree like that? Aren't you going to give your favorite relative a kiss? Oh. Yo. Hey, frankly. Hey, Fledge. Well, is his name Fletch or Fl it's Fledge, right? Like Fledgling. Yeah. Whoa. Tar. Isn't Fletch Chevy Chase? Hmm. Spider. I ain't have no spiders. Blinded spider? Did I? <laughs> Underrated animal buddy. Also, imagine how expensive the sneaker replacements must get. I don't know. I think a chat member just said that, but I'm going to borrow it. Oh, that's weird. All right. Wait, no, I, I thought I switched... TNT or regular. I want regular. I don't want TNT barrels. Get out of here. It's funny, I put those signs up everywhere and still, every now and then there's a spider. Shit. 
I mean, it, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it getting Spider. What's the spider's name again? Is it Eugene? Squitter. Well, just remember, everybody, spitters are squark squitters. <laughs> I need a moment. That was, that was, uh... Truer words have never been spoken. Alright, we're back. I avoided damage by a microsecond. If I was just a microsecond earlier or later, I think, or whatever, earlier, it would have been, that would have been... <laughs> mm -hmm. time only. You can just do that. I know I missed the letter, but I don't really care right, th right the second. I just want to beat the level. G Labyrinth. Oh, boy. Is this low gravity gas? So this game does have some pretty amazing backgrounds.
What if I, I collected all but one banana and then just left? Now, the question is, would people be as angry if I didn't draw that much attention to it? <laughs> Captain, it appears you have made your audience angry. Shut up, Data. Will do, sir. Therefore, I was destined to die at that moment. Listen, I know we've, you know, you're, you're now noticing all of the one or two bananas I'm leaving. It's the way it is. Hey, interesting thing. Did you know in New Super Mario Brothers U, you, you know those challenge levels? There's like a bunch of, um, like challenges, and I think they had demos of people completing them. That wasn't, like, tool-assisted. Those were actual Nintendo, like, testers or employees or whatever, I'm not sure exactly, but... They apparently had to do those levels perfectly. And had to collect every coin that was in their path, and if they left a coin, they would have to... Um... Redo it until they got all the coins. Not, like, necessarily every coin in the game, but... Well, that was... Dipshit. Wow, look at all. Oh, 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 it's right there. Right there. Dixie can't throw Gormless high. Damn it. Okay. Can't afford to miss bananas this time around. I've got lives to collect. Okay, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the checkpoint this time. I just need a DK barrel. Is this how you, is this what I was supposed to do?
Wow. Is this a different Squawks? Which one is this, Fuckhead? shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. Oh, better. The squawks is good. Best. And green. He sh and shoot. And shoot. Shoot. Where did it deposit me? Really hoping to hit that Kong barrel again. It's gone. Is this backwards? like we're only going backwards. Absolute lack of gorm. Twisty and turny and windy, and I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Good enough. Okay. 
Chaos Carnage. This is like Kong's enemy. It must be destroyed. Why do you have like a tape machine inside you though? <laughs> like what? Like a real to real tape deck. This is the work of a genius. I see. Chip boxes. Uh, suddenly I, I cannot do the thing I was able to do before. for that. That's just... <laughs> Someone just wrote, Platform Detection is Gormless. I tried to scat up the, um, the knives so that I could hit the enemy in the head, but yeah, the, the platform detection was quite gormless. I, oh fuck, I was reading chat. <laughs> I was like, I can see there are a number of people here who didn't watch the NES gem segment of my Sunday stream. If they don't know about using scat as a verb. Which, as you all know, is the peak of comedy. Did that just not register? I saw the stream, I just disagree and cringe. Oh. That's fine then. You're allowed to be incorrect. How does it feel to know that you have, uh, faulty cringe receptors in your brain? It's okay, they fixed those. 
called watching the stream for another couple hours. Why did I do that? This is not the game to be playing 20 minutes before I go to sleep. But here we are. I got it this time. I will make a bet with chat. Never mind. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Let me just gorm through these flames real quick. About to go nuts. It's going nuts. What? No. No. Oh no! Pong's win? Does not compute. Next time we make chaos, we'll win or something. I don't know what he's I guess I need to kill chaos. That's what I'm gathering. Together, Kong Strong. She's asleep. I'm sure she won't mind us saving our game, though. Are that many bosses left? Four? Five? No. 
there's like three bosses left. Okay. Well, I would play more, but I'm I'm fucking tired. I, I'm tired, like wrinkly. I guess Funky Kong is where I have to go next. He'll give me a, my next bodacious vehicle. Look at the anatomy of that Kong in the photo inside Wrinkly's cave. Yeah, what that, what is that? It's like leg day skipped. Is that cranky? But like he's buff, but he's got small legs. That's kind of weird. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Today was a weird, fun stream. I'll be around uh, Thursday, probably, with more things. Oh, good time for a raid. Thanks, Desert. <laughs> um, I'm ending the stream, but I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. Uh, bye, everyone. And uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will be around soon with more Advance Wars. I'd like to resume that Hitman freelancer jab I was doing. And we'll do more of this as well. And when the time comes, I don't know when, but I'll do more NSO games. We'll check out the games I missed. So, yeah, good night, everyone. Thank you and uh, take care of yourselves and have a great night and I appreciate the continued support and thank you for watching me lose my mind tonight. I'll see you, see you soon. Good night. Wait, what's this? We went to see Barry Lyndon last night and during one of the biggest deaths in the movie, someone's ringtone went off in the theater and it was the Pac-Man dying sound effect. There have been multiple letterboxed reviews about it. Oh. <laughs> Wow. All right, good night. Hey, Pops, does this thing work?